let us write a menu driven python program to implement python mysql connectivity in this menu driven program option number 1 is for creating the table option number 2 is for inserting the row into the table option number 3 displays the table in the computer's monitor option number 4 displays the details of students who got distinction and option number 5 exit from the program so a menu driven program to implement python mysql connectivity first you can click on file new a new file is opened after that you can save the file so in my case it is already saved now the question may be written as a comment so it is already typed for you it's a menu driven python program pyth okay it's a menu driven python program to do the following option number one create a table to insert rows into the table display the table option number four display the details of students who got distinction and five exit from the program now the first thing you need to import all the modules depending on the need you can import a module anyway in connectivity program we know that we need to import mysql.connector so import mysql.connector okay so importing the module depending on the need you can do that no need to buy heart it okay anyway i know that this is one module to be in imported so let me import that now in order to display the menu you need a function it is already typed okay uh, first you can give the heading menu creating the table inserting row display distinction and exit now in order to enter the choice you need a function it's already typed okay enter your choice now the next function that you need is in order to establish a connect connection between python and mysql let me create a function inside that function i will change from default database mysql to the database uh, class 12 okay so for that i am going to create a function so use the keyword def followed by create connection function symbol call now you can write a document string used to connect python with my sql so how do you connect python with my sql there is a function by the name connect now this function is present in which module my sql dot connector so it should be called as mysql dot connector dot connect now the connect function takes three arguments so you can put two comma now the first comma the first argument the computer where mysql is installed so in my case mysql is installed in this computer so i can write host equals local host local host what i mean by local host is uh, mysql is in, installed in this computer okay anyway it will not fit in this window so let me break this line backward slash you can continue with this line now host is equal to that one second username so let me break the line user equals root the default user and the third one is password so you can write password equals the password that you gave Nava. okay and let me store this in a connection variable connection equals this one so using this statement i connected python with the mysql okay now what i need to do is the default database is mysql from mysql i should move to the database class 12 now in order to execute an sql statement 
we need to create a cursor object. Cursor. How do you create a cursor object? By calling the function cursor. By calling the function cursor. And this function belongs to the connection object. So it should be called as connection dot cursor and it can be stored in a variable cur so variable cur points to the cursor object so using this object you can execute the various sql statements okay now the first statement that, that i am going to execute i want to display all the names of databases available okay so my sql statement is str sql it's a string variable okay str sql equals show databases so when you execute the statement the names of all the databases available will be retrieved okay now let me execute the statement and in order to execute an sql statement there is a function by the name execute this function belongs to the cursor object so you can write it as cursor.execute the sql statement that you want to execute should be passed as an argument so this state this function will execute this sql statement name of all the databases available that will be stored in the computer's memory and the memory area is known by the name context area it's not known by the name clipboard. I think in the last video tutor I mentioned, somewhere I mentioned clipboard. The name of the memory area is context area. Now, how can you retrieve all the rows from the context area or from the memory? There is a function by the name fetch all. So this will retrieve all the rows from the context area, from the memory. This is a function of the cursor object. So it should be called as cur dot. Now you can store the answer in a variable, say for example, r. So r contains all the rows. Remember, r is a list of tuples. Okay, r is maintained as a list of tuple. So name of each and every database is a tuple and the tuples are inside a list. Now, we want to check whether the database class 12 is present in this list or not. So how can you check that like this? If class 12, if class 12 in R, okay? But there is a mistake. Just now I only I told you R is a list of tuples. So each and every element of R is a tuple. So if you want to check whether class 12, the database name class 12 is present in R, you should compare, you should uh, make this a tuple and then compare with each and every element of R. So how can you create a tuple with the string class 12? Uh, the string should be written and inside double quotes, inside round brackets, the string should be written followed by a comma because i told you if the tuple contains only one element write the element inside round bracket and that is followed by a comma it is part of the syntax so if the database class 12 is present in this r then you don't have to do anything okay just pass otherwise otherwise first you have to create a database by the name class 12 and after that from the default database we will move to class 12 so let me copy paste these two statements right click copy paste so what is the statement that you want to execute create database class 12 semicolon now execute means the database by the name class 12 was created so here the meaning is class 12 is already there so you don't need to do anything if class 12 is not the created database by the name class 12 now from the default database i should move to class 12 isn't it so what check the default database 
uh, how do you, how can you get the current current database uh, you can execute the statement now you are in the default database my sql but anyway let me check the current database name and for that you can execute the statement right click copy okay so if you want to get the current database name you can type select database okay so anyway when you run the program for the first time the current database is mysql and when you run the program again and again sometimes it may be class 12 because from mysql we will change to class 12 anyway in order to get the current database name you can type this sql statement you can execute this sql statement now the answer is there in context area in the computer's memory how can you retrieve the answer from the memory it is fetch all there is a function by the name fetch all it is a function of the cursor object so it should be called as cursor dot and let me store the answer in variable r okay so r contains the current database name now let me check if r in class 12 if the current database name is class 12 why class 12 is written like this because r is a list of tuples so each and every element is a tuple so you can compare one tuple against another tuple so if you want to check whether the database name class 12 is there in r okay it should be written like this if r in class 12 okay then nothing to do pass otherwise you should move from default database mysql you should move to class 12 and for that you can execute this one so what is the statement that you want to execute use class 12 and here you can execute that which means from the default database now you are in class 12 okay and the function is over now after completing the connection object should be returned to the main function the cursor object should be returned to the main function because using this connection object and cursor object we will execute other statements from the main function okay so create connection after creating the connection finally you will move to the database class 12 and after that you should return the connection object you should return the cursor object because we need these variables in the main function that's the reason okay now the remaining functions in the next video tutorial